Questions are being asked across state borders after a Four Corners investigation revealed widespread problems in the waste and recycling industry. Tonight, the ABC can reveal a secret recording involving the New South Wales Environment Watchdog in talks with industry heads mocking its own systems of governance. Caro Meldrum-Hanna has this exclusive report. Scamming, rorting and dirty dealings inside the waste industry have been laid bare. I'm speaking out and blowing the whistle on something that's uh, uh, going to cost people hundreds of millions of dollars if it's stopped. Hundreds of thousands of tonnes of construction and demolition waste are being transported out of New South Wales and dumped on the cheap in Queensland, where there's no waste levy fee. Today, the New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian defended the government regulator, the New South Wales EPA. We have some of the most stringent guidelines here in New South Wales. Uh, I'm proud of that fact and I expect every other state to have those stringent guidelines as well. The New South Wales Premier cannot turn a blind eye. There are so many issues at the moment within the waste industry in New South Wales, which includes mismanagement, cover-ups, illegal dumping, sending waste across borders. Now, Four Corners has a recording of a closed-door meeting between the Executive Director of the New South Wales EPA's Waste Management Unit, Steve Beeman, speaking with prominent waste industry figures. In it, he jokes about rubbish being dumped in Queensland. Yeah. As you said, uh, you know, they, uh, I think your famous words was we take their mangoes, they can take our waste. That's the reality. Steve Beeman is also questioned about the EPA's waste tracking system, designed to log how much material is going over the border. Are you confident that everyone uses the interstate waste tracking system for more than 10 tonnes of waste? This is very different to what Steve Beeman told Four Corners. Do you have confidence that transporters and waste companies are using that online tracking system? Yes, we do, and, and our data correlates quite closely with other jurisdictions that also record waste coming in. So that gives us confidence in that data set. So uh, that online tracking system is working? Yes. Four Corners has also obtained a draft copy of the Australian National Waste Report, dated October 2016, prepared for the federal government. It reveals Australia has slipped further down the world rankings for recycling to 17th place. Our last analysis had us about 14th in the world and I understand that the new National Waste Report is on Minister Frydenberg's desk. The ABC can reveal the National Waste Report was meant to be released last November. Minister Frydenberg did not respond to the ABC's questions. Caro Meldrum-Hanna, ABC News.